Hello everybody, this is Carl at Manaboo Farms, and you can see this little box here we've built, it's a little table. This is something we just recently added in so that we could prepare for this month of self-sufficiency. And right now it's got a bunch of starts in there, including a peekaboo start back there, and a peekaboo start over here, and a few other things. Uh, most of this is hot peppers of different varieties and different styles that we will be transplanting out into the garden here in a few weeks. But I wanted to talk about this little building box because what this is really for is for during that month of survival, I'll be able to do microgreens, massive microgreens which produce a lot of nutrients. Um, I'm sure I've discussed this in previous videos with you, but one ounce of broccoli microgreen, which is the first two leaves on the mi on the plant of the broccoli plant, just like how this there is a microgreen right there, those first two leaves. Broccoli, one ounce of broccoli microgreen is equal to the same amount of nutritional value as one and a half pounds of broccoli tops. That's amazing. One and a half pounds of broccoli tops for one ounce. So part of how I'm going to be able to sustain myself and nutritionally for this month is through doing the microgreens that month. Hello everybody, this is Carl. I'm on my walk home from Manibu Farms Lot 6. Actually, I started at Lot 4 today, and then walked over to Lot 6, and then walked, now walking home to Lot 1, and I've uh, been thinking on my walk home, what else can I plant, you know, to truly be able to sustain myself for this month? And then I thought, well, of course, I'll ask all of you. I mean, there's 244 people th that I need to thank right now for signing up to subscribe to my channel. And I'd like to just get, you know, one-tenth of you guys, 24 of you, to actually comment down below the bottom of this video and give me an idea of what, what you would plant if you knew that you only had a month left before you were going to have to feed yourself off of your garden for the next 30 days after that. You all know the experiment that's going on. So, let me know what you would plant. I mean, geez, you only got a month. What are you going to eat for breakfast every day for 30 days? What are you going to eat for dinner every day for 30 days? I don't really eat lunch. I usually just graze in my garden. So we'll see how that goes. What would you do? All right, uh, again, this is Carl from Manibu Farms. Oh, why am I walking? Yes, I have cars. It's not that I need to walk home. I'm walking because this is my neighborhood. And if I could spot wild edibles and foods that are growing in my neighborhood, then that's something I can, you know, live off of during that month so i've been looking walking more in my neighborhood and trying to find out if i can find wild edibles i'm about to actually reach manabu farms community lot and uh maybe i'll give you a little flash of that at the end of this video here i'm going to pause though for now because i don't want this video to be too long and it's already two minutes and 30 seconds so we'll see you soon Okay, so I just got up the corner there and now we're at the community garden. And this is our community lot. So, doing a little bit of weeding real quick while I'm here and maybe snag a couple strawberries because I know there's a few ripe over here. Let's see. Eh, not quite ripe yet there. Ooh, there's a tiny one that's nice and ripe. Get that before the bugs. But, uh, strawberries, sweet peas. You know, how many times am I going to say sweet pea when I see sugar snap peas? That's like, got to be a curse or something. Um, other zucchinis and snapdragons. Um, more strawberries. Lots of different pear trees and peach trees. Uh, artichoke over there in the corner. Artichokes over there. Some more you know, 
all sorts of neat, interesting little vegetables here. This is just a quick tour of showing you one more place I'm going to be able to get my food from throughout this month. So, that's about it. I'm assuming you all know that you can eat the new shoots here of sugar snap peas, and if you only eat one out of the two, you split one leaf off and eat one of it, you don't harm the plant in any way, shape, or form, and you still get a good little mix for your salad, or just something to snack on while you're there. There's a baby. I'm gonna bug it. I'm not sure about these mushrooms, whether that's intentional or seems like there's enough of them for it to actually be intentional. I'll have to talk with the manager of this lot and see what they know. Carrots, onions, more wonderful, wonderful vegetables everywhere. All right, well, I'm almost home. I'm only a block and a half away. And you know what I've just realized? About two blocks, well, a block and a half from my lot one where we started Manabu Farms is the community lot. Then a block and a half that way is lot six. And then a block and a half past that is lot four. So we've got a pretty good chain here of close together community members who are really working together to bring that food to the people. Oh, nice big potatoes. More potatoes, more potatoes. Can't wait, bush beans. But how much of this is going to be ripe within the next month is a totally different story. Okay, I am keep rambling here. Boy, this is going to be like a five minute video already. You know, they say you only got about a minute and a half of attention span on YouTube. Think that's true? I've already got you all hopefully commenting down below about what you would grow if you only had a month. What would you grow if you only had a month left? So maybe you can also comment on how long the average attention span you think is of YouTube watchers. I think it's a little higher for us gardeners. Especially when we're looking at beautiful plants like these. Alright, talk to you later.